Uh, welcome back to the Jimmy Dore Show, everybody. Craig Poster Jordouli here. Uh, hanging on out with Kurt Metzger and the big guy in the room, filling on in for Jimmy Dore. Uh, guys, I don't know if you know, we have a, a dark a Greta, is that what we're calling her? <laughs> the dark Greta Thunberg? The dark Greta Thunberg. Uh, now, what is she, like a clean coal advocate? <laughs> you got to look at this. This this girl is fire. Check this out. I don't know who curated this, but this is great. Take a look. I could stand here and say more or less what other people are going to say about the effect of these 15-minute neighborhoods, soon to become digital ID facial recognition zones. Let's say my friend lives in zone 3 and I'm in zone 1. If, for example, I went to my friend's house in zone 3, my parents normally come and pick me up in, it, in their car. It only takes 10 minutes. So does that mean that they would have to go round the ring road and back into town again? If my mum or dad had to drive round the ring road, it would take 30 minutes, causing much more pollution and leaving a much bigger carbon footprint. They will say, you can walk home. Would that be safe for me to walk home? Me as a 12-year-old walking home in the dark alone. Is that really going to be safe? Then they will say, Oh, don't worry about that. We've already thought of that. You'll be safe. We will have a thousand cameras on the streets following you and tracking you all the way home. Oh, and just remember, it's for your safety. What? Are you serious? Do you really think I want to be watched every second of the day? Are you serious? Thousands of cameras tracking my every move until I get home. At this point, I have to ask, is my safety that important to me that I want to be followed by cameras all the way home? Or do I prefer to have freedom than privacy? For your information, I still wouldn't feel safe. No amount of cameras is going to stop someone who wants to attack me. I want to be safe, but not to the extent that I am prepared to give up my freedom and my privacy to have it. As a 12-year-old, I am really concerned about my future. And to Klaus Schwab, I say this. How dare you! Mocking! <laughs> 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 How dare you steal my childhood and my future! Mm. And the future of all children by enslaving us in your crazy digital surveillance prison! We all know where this is leading. These are the first steps of a dystopian reality called 15 minute neighborhoods. From a small seed, a huge tree can grow. <laughs> Climate change is being used to control us, to nudge us in the direction nudge. the greedy people want us to go. The truth is that the greedy people want total control over everything we do, everything we think, and everything we say. Our government has been hijacked by greedy and selfish imposters posing as politicians. They believe they are better than us and masters over us. And until this problem is effectively dealt with, the tyranny will continue. Thank you. I have a question. Go ahead. Why does every message have to be relayed to me by a preteen a preteen pre girl now? What is, th is that? Was like that when Greta Thunberg came out and I'm like, look, if I'm somebody that doesn't want to listen to a scientist, not that I am, though, but if I won't listen to science, you take a... Swedish girl with a learning disability that won't go to school. It's going to convince me. Why is that? Can I'm uh, by the way, I agree with like what she's saying. Yeah, but it's like you're 12. I don't know how much privacy. You know, mom, you went in my room. Like, aren't you the age where you should be supervised? Yeah, you're supposed to. Right. I don't need that kind of. I need privacy as an adult, not you. You're 12. Uh, well, I think some kids. I, oh, I get the point. Yeah. I mean, I love the fact that she's mocking Greta the whole time. How dare you? Well, she's doing with the Klaus Schwab. Whoever put her up and, to this is, is, yeah. is a great job. That's what I'm saying. It's it's great, curated by somebody. The, was the just, girl did a great delivery. Yeah. I mean, like, I guess that's what you have to do now. Is you, well, you were just saying, Kurt, it. though. You were just saying that you're like, people just don't get it. They're going to fall for it again. Here's a 12-year-old telling them what to do. So No, something's really... I, I got some hope over here with this over here. I don't I mean, know. I mean, okay. Sure, uh, it's great that someone is hiring a 12 year old there's a larger disturbing issue here that this is how things have to be done i know i like we're in a bad spot yeah, we are uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see your 12 year old and raise you uh anyway yeah i don't I, it's funny that this is how we're having discourse about these With, things through child actors through child actors because that's what that is people are putting and greta thunberg is or thunberg i don't know how you say it but she's definitely uh a psyop well, she doesn't grow. She's the same size. <laughs> it's like with Gary Coleman on Different Strokes. It was so cute. And they're like, is something wrong with his kidneys? And it was. <laughs> oh, maybe she has something wrong with her kidneys. We should feel sorry for her. But she does. She has an age. That's, that is weird. Also, when she goes, you've stolen my child. And I'm like, no, uh, sweetie, we stole your adulthood. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, I think this is pretty cool. I have some hope with the kids now.
So I like that. Hey, come see us on live on tour. We're doing a show in New York City, Potsdam, Pennsylvania, Stamford, Connecticut, Toledo, Rochester, Michigan. That's just outside of Detroit. St. Louis, Tampa, Florida, Boca Raton, Florida, and Orlando, Florida. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets.